Did I not get refueled? Yup. Yup. We're putting landing flaps down, gear down. Cause we're landed somewhere. <laughs> Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Back again in DCS, doing some more Su-25T flying practice training. So we're gonna jump in, do some unguided bombs practice. So same concept as last time. We take off, we have waypoint three is where our targets are. We fly over there, blow them the fuck up. Hopefully we don't kill ourselves in the process. And yeah, be good times. I've learned a little bit more uh, about this mission using this game. Using so unguided bombs. we're gonna go ahead and while we're here on the runway located at waypoint three um, to practice and on. switch my liveries. Um, which is actually going to modify the way my plane looks, so I can actually um, toggle between some different paint schemes. So, actually, we're going to go with that one. And then I can also change the board number. Wheezy 41. Uh, and then there's the weapons we have loaded out. Uh, it's telling me I'm requesting rearming, but I'm not. That's just because I opened up that menu, so. So yeah, on our map here, we're heading to the east. Uh, it is not like it was in the last one where those rocket targets were over here. Uh, the bomb targets are over in this area. So we've got a set of three M109s, four M939s, whatever those are. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna fly over there. And we're gonna blow them up. Yellow, full throttle here. If you missed some of my talk about uh, some of the navigation elements of the aircraft, you might check out my rocket video. I kind of talked through that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time dwelling on that in this one. Go have some fun dropping some, dropping some dumb bombs on some vehicles. There we go. Let's pull up. Boom. A little off the ground. We're gonna go ahead and pull the gear up. not necessarily planning on following my route. Uh, I'm just gonna navigate myself straight to waypoint three, where my targets are, and blow them the fuck up. So yeah, I'm definitely really enjoying just learning the Su-25 as just generally as an aircraft and a, a military aircraft that with weapons. But it also makes me impatient. I'm anxious to get into some of the more modern fighters uh, and aircraft. We're 28 kilometers out from our target. Um, as we're navigating that way, if I switch to air to ground mode, we can kind of cycle through the weapons. You can see we got the outboard slot selected, not counting the uh, air to air missiles, which are on the outermost pylon. So we've got our racks of four dumb bombs there uh, on those next outermost pylons. Select air to ground mode by pressing seven when yep, nearing yep, the target we're 20 array miles area. Uh, that's actually, Cycle if we look over there, by pressing D. I believe those are our targets. Uh, just right there, as I'll put them in the pipper. Mm -hmm. the, that group of trucks there is our target. So we've got the. Clusters of four dumb bombs here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on altitude, maintain. Uh, cycle to the next one. Those are the cluster dispensers, those big cylindrical missile rocket looking th things uh, are cluster dispensers. Uh, the next one in is I believe the 100 kilogram bombs, that little stub nosed one there. And then there's a 250 kilogram bomb, I believe, uh, inside of that that we can't see out our window, but we've got kind of two modes we can drop the bombs in. Um, i switch back to my smaller bombs. This is good, since it's on one of the outer pylons, it's gonna drop them all at the same time, all eight of them to keep the aircraft balanced. But I can either drop them up here from a continuous, uh, continuously calculated release point, CCRP mode, 
or I can basically do a dive bomb and use continuously calculated impact point to do that. Um, so those are two different release methods. For this one, we'll start out, um, actually, I'm already right above them. You know what? Let's go for it. And let's just try and do a drop here. So if we get the nose down enough, the reticle switches to that. Uh, it was a little closer than I like, so I'm not going to drop. But um, for the CCIP mode, that's essentially it. When the aircraft detects that you're in enough of a downward angle, it changes that reticle to calculating the actual impact point. And then when you press the release, it'll drop them and they should hit right where the pipper is. What I prefer and what we're going to do on this first run is we'll do the release point. I think the aircraft's getting upset maybe because of how much load I have on it. Oh, not coming around enough. Still need to get that head tracker. Uh, but the way this works here is I will put the aircraft in line with the target. I will put the pipper on where I want the bombs to fall. And then I'll hold the launch button right there. As you can see, it, that diamond took the mark. Gives a tone when it's dropping the bombs. So now they've dropped. And uh, we can see if we can watch there they hit. So that was actually a good, a good drop. critical damaged and uh, yeah that was all eight of those hundred kilo bombs next ones in are the cluster munitions now I played around with these a little bit and they drop a really long swath of explosions and when you use CC RP when you use the release mode the line actually hits quite a bit further back from where you target consistently it seems so I'm gonna want to kind of like line these up in a, as much as in a line as I can and then target a drop point kind of significantly in front of where I want to hit um, trimming up again because I've dropped quite a bit of weight off my aircraft here about a thousand kilograms worth of explosives Uh, things that I hit were burning and now they're finishing up getting destroyed kind of decide where we want to line up here I'm gonna see if I can come over here a little bit Ooh, I need to slow way down I'm booking it and we're gonna try and come in line and set a release point well in front of where we want to hit right about there We're gonna watch these boys drop. All those cluster munitions dropped. And we're gonna see how they hit there. It still hit. Look, I dropped way ahead of them and it still hit behind there. That is a long carpet of explosions and I think I completely missed again, so. trim it down some more so we've dropped a lot more weight again next bad boys are gonna be I think the hundred kilograms this is where I can start messing with the ripple quantity and stuff like that I've got it on a ripple of one so when I drop this one it's only gonna drop one of the pair of bombs that I have so I will be a little imbalanced when I drop it when we get closer we'll mark where we want to hit with this bomb. Now these bombs are going to be need some precision because I'm going to be dropping a single bomb so I'm going to be basically trying to hit an individual target with an individual bomb. So I need to try and be reasonably precise. So we're going to come in here so we get a little bit closer. 
See if I can work it right on there. Lock her up. I think she should drop left pylon first, yep. Boom! That was a big hit. Did I just did I hit one of the trucks that I'd already destroyed? Because I didn't get a notification that I damaged anything. Uh, if I let, if I leave the, the joystick in neutral here, uh, you can see I'm trimming right heavily because I still have this bomb on this side. Um, I'm going to leave that just because I'm going to turn around and drop it, so I don't want to trim it left to account for that extra weight, and then just turn around and drop it and have to trim it right back, so. Uh, that was the guy that I targeted last time. You know what, we're going to try and target, I think the two that are smoking are in line, so we're going to try and target this guy here in the back. Right there. See if we can hit him. <laughs> that one hit short, so it hit again on top of the other truck we'd already destroyed. Alright, now to, we're down to the two bigger boys, and I don't think they're going to have a wide enough black blast radius to hit more than one target each, so missing twice wasn't good. We might have to clean up the rest of these guys with guns, because we still have f five of the seven targets left, or eight, whatever, I think there were seven. Although one thing we can do is go back and rearm. I know how to do that now, so maybe we'll go through that, go through that process if I, if I don't get them with my bombs. Has it been so long since I hit them that this, they stopped burning? <laughs> I was using that smoke to navigate back to my targets, so now I don't see them. Where? Oh my god, I'm way past them. <laughs> now I really don't know which ones I've already destroyed. Probably should have tried to save those clusters to the end, but... Oh well. I'm gonna come in here... See what we can do. We're gonna aim for this front guy here. Dropped. There's a fuel warning, I believe. I've. Oh, there's where the bomb hit. It didn't seem to hit anything. Not doing great. I did I did better during my practice run, and now now I'm not now I'm not so hot, but that's why we do practice, right? Alright, I got one bomb left and a lot of targets that I don't seem to really know how to hit. <laughs> Maybe we'll give the dive bomb a shot on this one and see if we can hit the air brakes. See if we can come in. <laughs> I believe, did the weapon come off? Yeah, it did. We dropped it. I didn't get a notification. I must not have hit anything. Let's go in and do a BDA real quick, and then we'll navigate back and rearm and try again. You can see those two burned out ones, so it's those four and then the far one that are still intact. Alright, let's switch navigate mode back to the airport, rearm and try again. Try and hit the air brakes. Flare it up for a nice soft touchdown. 
I'm not gonna make the mistake we did last time. We're gonna use our parachute. <laughs> Navigate over the parking area, we'll rearm, and we'll take back off and see if we can blow these things up. <laughs> so we'll pull her to a stop. Go ahead and open our canopy. We will kill the engines. Put her at about 80% fuel there. Gonna keep the same loadout for our weapons here, just gonna let it reload. And call that good. Request refueling. Copy, request rearming. Unable to comply. Let's let's go ahead and just re-request it. There we go. So there's the rearming copy. Refueling complete. You'll the aircraft will start to get nudged when they, oh they're wobbled a little bit. I think we're getting munitions loaded back on. Let's see what it looks like from out here. Loading from the inside pylons out. All right. And my gun's already loaded, so they should call here. Rearming complete. Easy peasy. Electronics back on. It's a fun noise. Let's fire the engines back up. Left engine, right engine. Let's go ahead and get her moving. Clear to taxi to runway 25. Take back off, head back out here, and try not to fuck it up this time. <laughs> ah, beautiful day. Beautiful day to try and blow shit up and hopefully succeed. Should get clearance here in just a second. Perfecto. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. Make it safer. And here we go. My takeoff vector, I'm headed basically straight at the target anyway. Oh wait, no never mind, because I'm not in the right navigation mode. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Flaps up. Did I not get refueled? My fuel is not at a lot of fuel. Uh, it said refuel complete, and I don't appear to have gotten the fuel that I wanted. Maybe because I reopened the menu after it said rearm, it didn't top me off with the amount of fuel I wanted. Uh-oh. Well, let's try and make this quick. <laughs> We're gonna scream right over there. And you know what? Let's start with let's start with that cluster bomb. And just see if we can get lucky. See if we can just get it lined up properly to kind of clear those guys out. So put this on heading here. Check and see what we got. Is it what I saw for these, yeah, when I was flying this way for my BDA, there's like four, there's two destroyed like here, and then that one. So I think if we come in at this kind of angle here, come in kind of from the northwest, a good chance of lining them up with that big old cluster. So yeah, I think we're right in the line we want. We're gonna have to just make sure that we line this up super early because it is a long stripe of bombs. I'm gonna try not to use afterburner to burn up all our fuel. Alright, so let's do it like all the way here. And see if that is enough to do it. So wait for tone. Drop 
ping. I lost sight of the targets. I have to just wait to see if they hit. Oh, I think it hit way early. Are you kidding me? I think that... Oh, it hit way early. I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm so irritated. Mm. Alright, well, we are not going to have a whole lot of fuel left, so we're going to make these attack runs kind of quickly. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, all right, we got one. <laughs> With eight bombs. All right, we're going to be bingo fuel here before too long. It took us about 30 kilograms to get out here. This guy right here. Oh, he finished blowing up. Oh, I missed that one again. I'm going to use up all my fuel f being terrible at this. The trucks has been destroyed. Did that drop? It did! It went, it went pickle right as it switched. I'm an expert. <laughs> Accidental success. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. We're low on fuel still. Forty-eight. What is that? Forty-eight hundred pounds. All right. Now we're down to the bigger old boys. Oh no, we still got one more smaller boy here. Let's go for this guy in the back here. Pickle. Boom! But apparently that wasn't one of the targets I needed to hit. What am I- am I just murdering already destroyed targets? Alright, we're gonna drop the big boys and then I guess we're gonna have to see if we can go home. Who is alive? Ugh, it's too close. Because I'm trying to make these turns too quickly, I'm actually using more fuel than I should be instead of less. Learning lessons. Learning every time we fly. Alright, so which ones are... So are the ones that look kind of darker are probably the fuckers we still need to kill? Racist. Alright, let's try and lock up this guy here. Alright, that looked like we got it. Okay. Got him. Alright, we got one bomb left, 3,200 pounds of fuel, two targets, I think. So we might be able to bomb one and gun one and make it home without running out of fuel? Let's find out! Alright, we're gonna go for the guy that's right in the middle here. No. No. I think, did that pickle? It did not. I tried to drop it because I figured that's where the impact point would be. It did not pickle. Uh, this is getting super sketch. This is getting super sketch, guys. Wow. I thought we were... Shit. We needed, like, 30... 
We needed like 3,000 pounds to get out of here. We need like 30, and we're down to 20. Um, I'm not sure we're making it home. So we're going to come around, drop this bomb early, switch to guns fast, see if we can get them both in one run, which I've been doing so good, why wouldn't I? And then fucking book it. All right, so we're going to try and lock up this guy from a range. So when we hear tone... Oh, I came off center. That's why I need to be... Because it's a dumb bomb, I still need to be on target. <sighs> this gets more and more sketch with every pass. Hmm. I'm really wishing they'd refueled me. Oh, no. Oh, I overcooked it. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna literally gonna run out of fuel before I even drop my weapons. I wonder if there's a closer airport. <laughs> we are really low on fuel. Actually, uh, what is the... Jettison weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drop those, boys. Save as much fuel as we can. That's... that's it. That's the closest one. It's right there. We are... <laughs> we are 18 kilometers away and we got, like, no fuel. This is trouble. Oh yeah, that's, that's, yup. 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 We're putting landing flaps down, gear down, because we're landed somewhere. <laughs> hmm. We, this looks like a road over here. We are landing somewhere. This is a train track. There is a train on this track. Uh, all right, well, we're not gonna land on the train tracks. That's for goddamn certain. So we're gonna try and land in beside them. And in the dirt, this is gonna be, this is gonna be nasty. All right. Here we go. Little hard, little hard. Wheel brake, parachute, parachute. Oh god, we're Oh god, that hurts. Oh god. Parachute kind of Oh god, I can't turn cuz we're damaged. Don't hit the train. Don't hit the pull! Good god! No! That's not good for the wing! Oh god! Oh, that's not good for the wing. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah! 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 That's not good. Oh. Um. <laughs> Well, we're alive. I. <laughs> okay, minions. That was bomb practice and fuel management practice. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed watching me not get back to base and almost hit a train, leave me alone. <laughs> If you don't like inept pilots, you can leave me a dislike. If you're new here, subscribe, because I do ridiculous shit all the time. I need to, I still need to update my call sign. I forgot to do that. Uh, if you guys didn't see my video about rockets, go check that out. Hopefully you learned a lot about dropping unguided bombs in this video. I know, lady. I know. I'll see you guys in the next one. I know!